everybody. So when the weather cooperates, we are definitely going to be firing up the grill. That is for sure. So we want to do it safely. Joining us this morning with some safety tips and things that we need to know when we're out there grilling is Fire Chief Thomas Kane. He is from the local 22 firefighters and paramedics union. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing great today. Good, good. So we want to first talk about some of the common mishaps and some of the things that happen usually when people don't do things correctly. That's true. A lot of uh, this time of year, especially Memorial Day weekend, everybody's out doing their uh, barbecuing sometimes for the first of, of the season. So we want to make sure first you set up right. Uh, you want to have your grill away from the house. Um, if there is an incident with your grill, it's going to be far enough away so it's not going to affect your house. Uh, so you want to have it away from the house and you want to clean it first too. A lot of times people open up their grill for the first time and they look at the burgers they left there from uh, Labor Day. So you want to clean it. Uh, if it's clean, there's less chance of a grease flare up and less chance of any uh, anything going wrong. Okay. You okay. also, I mean, um, some other things you want to keep your cat, your pets and kids away from it. So uh, less chance of somebody tripping or causing an accident or, or a child reaching up and getting burned. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll just walk over to the grill for a minute just so we can sort of have this in the background so people can, you know, get an idea of maybe a, a dirtier grill. Maybe we need to clean that a little bit. As I mentioned, clean your grill. <laughs> Very important. So what are some of the, we talked about the mishaps, what are some of the common mistakes people probably don't really think about that's really important to make sure we do? Well, again, uh, knowing what you're doing at the grill's real is always important. But um, if you clean it, you should be good. It, a couple of things you want to do too. Have a spray bottle uh, nearby with water in it. So if uh, if something should flare up with it, you could just spray it with water. It'll knock it right down, and you could still eat your food. If if it goes beyond that, have a fire extinguisher handy too. You lose your food, but you save your house and and less chance of any injury for anybody. And uh, one of the things too, if you're uh, in a holiday weekend, everybody's going to be uh, enjoying themselves. Use alcohol responsibly. Um, you know. You, if you say don't drink, people go, oh, they'll, they'll go oh, upset about that. But be responsible with it as you would. Because remember, it's at your house and your family's there. So you want to protect them as well. So we know usually during like Thanksgiving season, we have people frying turkeys outside, right? That's sort of the common thing we see. Is there, you know, sort of common things we see during the summer months that people sort of mess up things that they should be doing when they're grilling? Well, yeah, and again, it all goes back to the same thing. If, if you have an idea of what you're doing, you, the temperatures that you cook at, if you have certain foods that are going to be greasy and they're going to be, you're cooking at a high temperature, you're going to get that grease off, it's going to come down, and you're going to have flare-ups. So you want to just be mindful of what you're doing on the grill and uh, be careful about that. All right, perfect. Well, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Any last tips for folks? Uh, just have a good time. You can't have a good time in the emergency room. So you want to do everything you can to protect yourself and your family and your guests at your house. Uh, enjoy yourself. It's a great time. Oh, one other thing, too. You have to use your grill outside. Don't ever use a, a, a gas grill or a charcoal grill inside. Uh, even though this weather, I think this weekend's going to be pretty crappy. Don't don't bring it inside. Stay outside. Do the best you can with it, and uh, and have fun. It's a holiday weekend, so enjoy yourselves. Yeah, you might be tempted to sort of pull it in yeah. because it's a little messy out there, but but don't do right. it. And smoke alarms, everybody. Make sure you have smoke alarms in your house, one on each level. All right, perfect. Spoken from a 30-year veteran, so we really right. appreciate that last tip. Thanks so much. All right, guys.